Ladies and gentlemen, the sun has now found its home in the western sky, and it is Saturday night in Tiger Stadium, home of the LSU Tigers, one of the great venues in college football. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here. You know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the South Alabama Jaguars, taking on the 13th ranked team in the land, the LSU Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. LSU ready to kick it away to get things started. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room and not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. This crowd bringing an ear-splitting welcome to their visitors. They'll throw it on first down. He'll try to do it himself. This time, they were able to keep him in check and stop him short of that first down. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Lopez wants to fire. A little release to the back. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got him, and nobody's close. And they exploited that soft spot, and they get it down to the 35. This offensive line does such a good job communicating in their pass protection. You can see guys passing defenders off to one another, and that's why the quarterback had so much time to complete that throw deep downfield. The Jaguars will hustle to the line. Off the play fake. Throws for the tight end. He's got an open man. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. Sometimes your tight end's a safety valve and sometimes he's your go-to receiver. And the offense knew right away it was the primary target. It was where he was going with the football because you know you get a little bit of suck up from those linebackers with the play action and you feed the big fella. They'll leave it with him. Give him about a yard on the play. It's down at the 10. Operating in the red zone here on second down. The RPO, it's complete. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route run. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots in the zones. You've got to get him involved. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down. They can't pick up the first without scoring. Now he's going to glide away from pre And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, South Alabama! This defense has their hands full in this game because of what you saw right there. This quarterback is one of the fastest players in the entire country, and he runs one in. They're going to have to do a better job getting hats to him because they know they're going to see the QB run a lot today. Ready to try the point after. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. 
They put together an 81-yard drive, and it was capped off with the eight-yard run. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. The offense set for a first down play. Used to play fake. Now to throw. Looking to the big tight end. Wide open downfield. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds. And he has the first down. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, and now the defense is really on its heels. The Tigers want to crank the tempo. The play action fake. Quick completion on the out. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. I love the anticipation on that throw by the QB on the out route. You've got to throw it before the receiver comes out of his break. Nice work. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Well, this defense knew coming in, they were going to see some RPO, and they were going to see some quick game. A nice job there taking the throw away from the quarterback. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. They're going to throw it again. Fires to the tight end. Offenses gain momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. You know, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and of being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job on the tight end finding that hole in the zone. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass and it never had a chance. Now second and ten. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. I like the poise by the quarterback on that play, too, because a lot of times, as a quarterback, you see the blitz coming, and immediately you want to audible, you want to try to throw the ball. But he knew that he had a good run play called, and he knew he could leave it on. Heads up play by the QB. Pulls and fires complete. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, you see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. Now on first and goal as they try to answer that opener with a touchdown of their own. Trying to barge in. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Tigers! And I like the running back's vision. He sees the hole, explodes through. He knows where the goal line is, gets in the end zone, gets six. attempt to try. And it's up and good. They marched 72 yards and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. South Alabama has it back. The Jaguar offense going to work. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets them up to the 24. 
The counter play is a great play to mix in because defensively, you're, you're not looking for the counter. You're looking to attack, attack, attack. All of a sudden, two guys pull across the formation. Now you've got to change your direction really quickly, and it keeps you off balance and really keeps you on your heels. He'll do it himself. And the Jaguars get it past the sticks. Such an advantage when you have an athletic quarterback today in college football because they can help you move the sticks with their legs. Great open field running ability by this QB. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29. Handoff from the gun. He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. And you want to run the football. I mean, that's okay. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously you might want to think about airing it out a little bit. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. And off from the shotgun. That'll be a gain of about seven. Leaves him with third and three. Trying to pick up a first down. Touch pass on the run. Makes his man miss. And the first guy couldn't get him, but the second one does, but not until he picks up the first down. This offense has a lot of different ways they can attack you, and you're going to see the entire playbook at work in this game. Throwing it, running it, and getting guys the ball out on the perimeter. Great job. The Jaguars are on the move. Quickly complete. They've got the defense reeling right now with that big play to the 29. Good job reading the defense by the quarterback on that RPO. Feed. He waited to see how the defense was going to play the run. He saw defenders bite up close to the line of scrimmage, and right away he knew he had the slant throw right in behind him. The Jaguars want to pick up the tempo. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the right. Got his man downfield. Touchdown, Jaguars! What a grab and go for the score. So much about the passing game is about timing, execution, communication, and these two, that, that's a virtual textbook there. And no doubt about it. And the receiver making plays for his quarterback, being dependable, running the route to the right depth consistently, does a great job running his route, great result because of it. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. So a drive there of 82 yards, and they cover the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Give to the running back. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong. And I say country sprawl. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up. And usually, they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Pocket starts to collapse. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options. And then the, finally, the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. 
looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. They'll run the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. And that's what defense is all about, understanding the situation. It's third and long. I'm going to drop back. I'm going to make him throw that ball underneath to the running back and then do my job. Go corral, tackle him, and force the fourth down. Looks as if LSU will line up to punt it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. Guys, we'll have another look at this South Alabama offense. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. Well, you got to give the defense a lot of credit on this play because they were doing a nice job understanding who had the football and where they were. So a nice job by the defense rallying around that ball carrier and now not giving up the first down. Line getting set on second down. From the gun, running back gets to give. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. And the Jaguars come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Give to the back. Still on his feet at the 45. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. The Jaguars racing to the line in the hurry up. Coming out on first down with the play fade. He unleashes a long one. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, South Alabama. The big tight end, always able to make the defense pay. And tight ends have evolved so much in football. I mean, these guys are like wide receivers now, and you see why. Got the athletic ability, the big bodies, throw to them, and they'll make big plays for you. The AT unit on the field. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they top it off with a 31-yard toss for six. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Snags a quick pass on the left. At the 35, he's loose. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. A strike downfield. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. They're going to run it. Bulls his way forward. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, he was trying to do it all by himself at the end of the day. It's a tackle for uh, I mean, the number of tackles he broke at some point, somebody's got to get blocked to help the guy out a little bit. 
Man, the defense was like a bunch of zombies on that last play. They just would not stop chasing that ball carry. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. A little screen to the running back. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Well, they're trying to set up the screen pass to the running back, just nowhere to go after he caught the football. The defense completely swarmed around him, and that's a loss. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Incomplete as the screen goes right through his hand, and it'll be fourth down. Third and long situation. They try to go screen. I think they were hoping it was going to be a big zone, and they could get those offensive linemen down the field, but the defense sniffed it out, forcing the incompletion. LSU will bring the punt team on the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And no shot at a return here as the punt goes out of bounds. The Jaguars offense ready to go back to work. They'll try it on the ground, running the counter. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. Got three on first down, it's second and seven. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. He finds his man. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. He's not even going to make it back to the line of scrimmage as the defense gets big-time penetration. That's a great job executing up front by the defense. They looked like they were ready for that play, and that was a bit of a more unconventional look from the offense on third down, but the defense was there to make a big stop. The Jaguars will send out the punt unit. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Now, I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. Gets it out quickly. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. From the gun, they'll try the middle. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. And this is what's going to drive coaches crazy. It's mental errors, right? It doesn't take any talent or lack of talent to have that penalty. You just got to watch the ball, and when it's snapped, get after the quarterback. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. LSU right back to the line. Here's the handoff. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. That's a really nice run. One thing I love about him is he's got versatility. Reminds me of a guy I used to play against back in the day, Kevin Falk. He could catch the ball, he could run the ball, he could block, he returned kicks. He did everything for the LSU Tigers. And this guy, he's got that ability too. So many different tools in his toolbox. Wide out in motion. Wants to throw on first down. Missed receiver there, it's incomplete. 
This offense just has to find a way to find a rhythm here. They're playing at home, and they want this crowd to stay involved and be an asset in the game, but they need to start making plays. They can't keep throwing incompletions this early. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. From the gun, the ground game. Tackled at the 31, they'll give him six on the play. Here comes a third down situation, and the defense hasn't been able to slow them down. Back to pass, it's Nussmeyer. Fires downfield. Got it! Takes it to the house! Touchdown, LSQ! That is what we call in the industry a defensive breakdown. That guy was loose for the big play. Busted uh, coverage, uh, really, really bad execution. Somebody slips, somebody falls. Nothing about that defensively is something you're looking for, but the offense will take it and they get the easy touchdown. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they're down a touchdown, 21-14. That drive covered 62 yards for the touchdown. And they top it off with a 31-yard toss for six. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. South Alabama has it back. The Jaguar offense going to work. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. They knock him down, but not before he gets it out to the 21-yard line. Pick up a four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Lopez to pass. Finds his man. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. You know, as a receiver, it's so critical and important to know where the sticks are. He was able to modify his route so he knew as soon as he caught it, he was just going to have enough to keep this drive alive. And the Jaguars have it with a first and ten. Finds a soft spot in the middle. And a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off coverage. But you could tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for the loss. Off play action. Good timing on the quick out. And he's dragged down. They knew they could slip that tight end behind the backers with that play-action fake. Well, it's because I can't win, Reese. I, I have to play the run. You know, all these RPOs, all these different things, I, it makes me come up and use my eyes and play run. And these tight ends are so valuable to find space behind. Knew where he was going with the football the whole time because the big fella, he's always open. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. It's not a flashy play call, but that is exactly what it was designed to do. Get two yards, get the first down. The Jaguars are on the move. The RPO fire complete to the left. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Second down. Second down coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Coming after it. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. We're only in the first half already. This guy's got two TD passes, so you could see the defensive coaching staff on the sideline telling this D-line, guys, we got to get after this guy. We have to affect his rhythm and not let him be so comfortable back there. Right there, they were able to get after him. Let's see if they can keep it up. And guys, they've come through on the first two third down tries. This one might be a little tougher. Feeling some heat. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. On third and long, the blitz pretty much puts the offense out of its misery with the sack. Yeah, and it's so tough for the offensive line when you get in these situations and you know all these fast athletes are going to be getting after the quarterback. Who's coming? Who's not coming? This is why you try to stay out of third and longs because bad things happen. The Jaguars will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll bring it back. It's Thomas. Really nice job all the way around. Got a few blocks, made a couple of moves, and a good return on that one before he's pushed out of bounds. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. It's a really nice play there. The thing about this guy, he forces the defense to have to stay disciplined. He just can't take a playoff. He reminds me of an old LSU quarterback that I used to play against, Herb Tyler. He was a guy that could hurt you throwing the ball, but he was also shifty and he could extend plays. We had a great defense at Florida, full of NFL dudes, but... He just never let you feel comfortable because of his athleticism and his dynamic ability. This guy has a little bit of that, too. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. Back to pass, it's Nussmeyer. Deep shot for the end zone. Had it in his hands for the score and let it fall to the turf. It'll be third down. Oh, I bet the QB is steaming because he did an awesome job. He drops back and he can tell he's got the matchup he wants on the outside. He's got an open receiver, throws it to him. Great ball right through his hands. Missed opportunity for a big play. Missed opportunity for a touchdown downfield. Touchdown LSU! What a catch and run for six. All even up after that one. Basically a brand new game. And with a tie, guess what? Back to the offense. Back to the offense. Which defense can get a stop? These offenses have been humming. He'll try to tack on one more. Smashes it through for the PAT. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it up with the final 30 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. Tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Guys, we'll have another look at this South Alabama offense. I can't think of anything that frustrates an offensive coordinator more than holding the ball a long time and having no points to... It's complete! A huge pickup! And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. And the Jaguars moving quickly to the line.
they'll try the run. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Yeah, this running back just doesn't go down easy. But it's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not overly huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, you know what, let his talent do the rest. This offense has a second down play. Lopez wants to fire. Misses receiver there. It's incomplete. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved. And I'm on defense because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication. And it can really rattle an offense. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Trying to make magic with his feet. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Sometimes you just got to give credit. Like, we had it covered. We knew it was a pass. Uh, cover, everything covered underneath, but the quarterback does such a good job of making that second play something special, pulling it down, getting the first down pretty easily. They'll go hurry up here. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. Well, this defense is being challenged, and this secondary in particular. And I know a DB made the tackle there, but we're only in the second quarter, and already this quarterback has over 200 yards passing. The Jaguars will snap it on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the right. He caught it, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jaguars! This is a running back who is versatile. His catching ability really helps this offense out vertically down the field. And you saw it on that play on the wheel route. That wasn't just a screen or a swing. They got him faking going to the flat, turning up the sideline for a touchdown. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point makes it a 28-21 score. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they covered the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and I gotta score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you, for sure, to feel like I got to make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I got to hit them, too. We can't let our serve get broken. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I need to throw this ball hard. Like, I got to fit in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it, because he really didn't have a choice, because he was going to wear that one regardless. The hurry up now, second down, clock ticking. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Gets it out fast. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first, it's at the 37. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Looking to go up top on first down. Dumps it to the back. 
finds his man, it's Williams. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And a great play design here in this type of situation, obviously trailing to try to put something up on the scoreboard and just using the sideline, using the boundary, getting the ball out of bounds and stopping the clock. From the 25-yard line, it's first and 10. He's going to pass. A shot toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. And just got enough of the football there by the defender breaking on the football, getting his hand on it. He couldn't bat it down, but he got a fingertip on it, tipped that thing away from the receiver, made the big play, saving the touchdown. On second down, he'll let it fly. Spits it out to the back. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. I think when you go through these progressions as a quarterback, you want to find the right guy to throw to, obviously. I just, I didn't think he was the right guy. I didn't think he was really that open. And listen, he sailed and he overthrew, but I might have surveyed the middle of the field a little bit better. They were really starting to put a drive together. And after a couple of incompletions, now they need to going for it all. And it's caught! Touchdown by you, Bengals! Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they finish it off, needing just a few inches and going up top to get it. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. From inside the 10, here he comes. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. That's going to wrap up the first half here. And now we join Kevin with the halftime update. The Jaguars will kick it away to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Paul? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do we're just going to do it better but then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense we're going to find out here you got to have that defense you know you can go to in running situations your base defense where you say okay this is where i'm going to start and i'm going to stop the run stuff it up front my guys play big up front and then if i need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road i can but great job in the base defense making a play got his man quickly He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. This quarterback has been really good today. He's been on top of it, seeing things really, really well. That pass right there put him over the 300-yard mark. That's a pretty good day. LSU getting set on first and 10. Oh, it's loose. Oh, look what I found. The offense keeps it. Well, ball security doesn't just apply to running backs and receivers. QB's got to keep two hands on the ball as well. And they're very lucky after that fumble that the offense jumped on. LSU moving the ball quickly down the field. Oh, 
pulls and throws off the RPO. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. On second down, will they go back to the ground game? From the gun, running back on the move. Tackle is made after the first down. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Got enough for the first down. Gets him down at the 26. Big play there. Give him 15 yards on the game, and they move the sticks. It's so hard for a defense to have to stop plays like that because it really forces you to play with great eye discipline. You see the pre-snap motion. Defense doesn't know if he's just running across the field and he's going to run a route, if he's going to block, or if he has the football. That time, he was able to outflank the defense and hurt them to get that first down. He's got an open man. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. And Jesse he just keeps piling up numbers over 350 yards for the game. And I feel like from the get-go, Reese, this guy's just been in a great rhythm all game long. He just seems like he's dialed in, and man, he's been accurate throwing the rock. To the air, it's Nussmeyer. Makes the grab. Touchdown, Tigers. And that one will give him the lead. A methodical drive that they finish off by tossing it to the tight end. And the tight end, I tell you what, this is a position that's involved so much, right? And you see him move all over the field. It's kind of like, where is Waldo? you got to find this big fella, especially down in the red zone area. This is the guy they're going to target and make the big play, get the touchdown. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The kickoff team on the field, he ought to just boom this thing through the end zone with that extra 15 yards on the penalty. Not going to give him a chance to make a play as they boot that thing through the end zone. Offense set on first down. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. They're working that left side. That one could really put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. Important in the passing game that it's not just receivers doing all the work. You got to get running backs involved. You got to get your big fellas. You got to get the tight ends going too. And the Jaguars are in the hurry up. play action on first down and he was hit just as he released it and it falls to the turf well on offense no doubt right you've had success you're throwing some tutties why not keep throwing it they're going to keep being aggressive you're going to have to do a better job though keeping this quarterback standing up the incomplete pass leaves him with second down he's looking to throw got out of trouble got rid of it Got a man. It's Ivory. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. Well, this offense knew coming into this game they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Quick touch pass to the receiver. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure it to first down. I love the idea, and I love just finding ways to get your best players out in the open field. This pre-snap motion and using it to their advantage on that last play, I think that was a nice call. The Jaguars will snap it on first and 10. They'll test the right side. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. First down, 
physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. Setting up the screen. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. And this offense, I think, will do a good job in this game divvying up the football and distributing it to different guys in the passing game. It won't just be receivers. It's not going to be tight ends. This running back, he's a weapon, too, after he catches it. You saw it right there. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Low pass to pass. Looking deep. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Takes it from the gun on third down. Starting to feel a little pressure. Open space at the 25. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. So frustrating as a defense because you got the offense in third down. You're in a situation now where you can get off the field if somebody just makes a play, but you let the quarterback escape. And then beyond all that, you, you can't even get a good hit on him because he slides to protect himself. From the red zone, looking for a man. Got his man on the outside. Got some room, headed to the goal line. He's run out of bounds after the big game, and they are in business, first and goal. This quarterback obviously did a lot of film prep coming into this one. He has been picking this defense apart. With that last completion, guys, he's now got over 300 yards passing. Fans are bringing the noise on first and goal. He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to him. Looking to the end zone. And he can't quite make the connection as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. Well, that was just interesting. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. And the extra point was made without incident, and we're tied up here in the third. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive, and they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. The give is to Williams. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, you live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. That time, the defense called it at the perfect time. The linebacker able to make the stop on a short game. And from the offense's perspective, that's probably... Uh, making a little something out of nothing. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Trying play action. Got the quick pass. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Death Valley has a well-earned rep of being intimidating. It is nice to be the quarterback to have everything on your side and have everything quiet. It's the loudest place by far that I ever played. I mean, for an entire game, they are on their feet, yelling, screaming. Now listen, we can't play all the words they're yelling, Reese, but they are an intimidating crew. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. They'll keep it on the ground. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. 
and stick him to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. LSU moving quickly, going to work again on first down. He wants to throw. Quick strike complete. He saw man coverage, and the idea, just get it to my receiver as quickly as I can and let it work, David. See man and, and see the cushion and see the guy backed up a little bit. Now I know I can get it to him right now and get a positive game. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. The give is to Williams. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. LSU with the first and ten here. The option look. Now the pitch. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Here comes the option. He'll toss it. And they'll ride him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And how about the timing on that pitch? Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The offense down to the 22 on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Caught behind the line. It's Thomas. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I mean, I just lost yards on a screenplay. How does that happen? After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. Out of the gun, the inside kick. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. And I love this because you got second and really, really long. And what's the idea of the offensive coordinator? Get third and manageable. Nice job getting the run. Not only a positive run. Shoot, you almost got the first down. Now you're set up for good success on third down. They'll run for it on third and short. Touchdown, Tigers! And they take it in for six more points. This running back was not going to be denied. Nice blocking up front to create a hole for this running back, and he was able to take advantage. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Quickly out to the tight end. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. Let's see what they've got on second down. Matt 
the end of the third quarter. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Got the first down and more. And they get him out of bounds, but not before a sizable pickup on that one. Yeah, and way to be creative. Way to get the ball in the perimeter really quickly. Get some speed outside. All you got to do is secure that edge, and you're just trying to get that first down. Nice job. Nice play call by the offense. The Jaguars headed quickly to the line. The give to the tailback. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They get him on the ground at the 37, but give him 15 yards on that chunk play, and they'll move the chains. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop it? There is nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. Got three on first down at second and seven. To the ground with the back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Lopez wants to fire. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, and certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're going to have time to throw. Drive. He had nowhere to go with the football. Fourth down, you know he wants to make the play. I'd like for him to throw it up, to be honest. Try to give somebody an opportunity to make the play. Who cares if I throw a pick? It's fourth down anyways, but couldn't find anybody to get the ball off. Defense surrounds him, gets him to the ground with the sack. First play of the drive comes from the 41. Out of the shoot, quick toss to the right didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. And offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, boy, it's just built into the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. And here comes the offense on second down. Here's a quick throw out to the left. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. They'll try to bully their way for the first. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. Man, it's so nice to have a guy that you can depend on. Like, this, this offense is built around him for a reason. Just a, a good running back. You can see, gets north-south, doesn't dance, picks up positive yards, breaks tackles. He's just a really good player, and that's why this offense runs through. Going up top on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Williams. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in the game like this, right? You still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. Completion a little short of the sticks. It's second down. 
to the air. It's Nussmeyer. He's got his man. They knock him down at the 21. It's a pickup of five yards on the play and enough for a first down. The Tigers have their offense in high gear. The give is to Williams. They get him after he picked up five and got him inside the red zone down to the 16. You got to give the coaching staff credit because they really do focus all season long on situational football with the lead late in the game. If we're on offense. We're trying to stay in bounds. We're trying to bleed the clock. And after ripping off a really nice run, that guy knew I've got to get down. I cannot get pushed out of bounds. Cannot get tackled out of bounds. Really, really nice job. Using the quick game. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. If you like the stats, and I know you do, he's over 400 yards passing now. Yeah, if they win this game, he's getting a game ball. There's no doubt about it. This guy has been on fire from the very start of this football game. He's just been throwing bullets all over the field. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Tigers! After that, there might be a few extra tackling drills in practice this week. Listen, when you only got one guy there, it makes it really hard to get to the crowd. You need a swarm. Where are my other guys? You got to get one, two, three more guys to the football to make sure you get them on the ground. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is true, and they have a two touchdown lead up 14 in the fourth. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. Here's the return from inside his tent. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Jaguars offense ready to go back to work. What a turn that last drive was. Didn't pick up the fourth down, and it led to the scoring drive, David. Yeah, and those are frustrating, because you, you think you might get points, and then your defense gives up points. This has got to be a complimentary football-type deal. The offense now needs to provide a little spark and give this defense some hope. No doubt, David. they got to turn the page, and they've got to play with a little bit more urgency here, knowing they've got to get that one back and put a good drive together. Lopez to pass. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. And the defense loves being in this type of situation, right? You've got a big lead. It's in the fourth quarter. You know the opponent's going to be throwing the football, so you get your best pass rushers coming off the edge, using that speed, dipping and ripping, getting to the quarterback for another big play. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. And this defense is bringing the heat another sack. And you could easily argue the biggest reason this team is trailing here in the second half is because they have not been able to protect their quarterback tonight. They've already given up five sacks in the game. And you just saw another one right there. This offensive line has had problems all night long. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. Gonna let it fly. Intercepted. Trying to take it back. After making the pick, he took it the other way, and he's dragged down at the 19. And that's a really good job by the defense, understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. You've got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball, mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse? That's what... Six more to the board with that 
trip to the house. If this dude were a kitchen knife, he would be slicing tomatoes so thin your in-laws would never come back to your house. Well, that'd be a good thing. I don't know if I want my in-laws to come back anyways, but he's been on fire. He's been absolutely torching this defense. They've had absolutely no answers for him. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. South Alabama has it back. The Jaguar offense going to work. He'll start this drive firing. Makes a connection. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. He'll come out throwing on first down. Flips it out in the flat. Sweet cut there. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play a wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Lopez wants to fire. Quickly complete. I really like this slot receiver because of his shiftiness, and you see that on his route run. Really, really nice job creating separation for his QB. A completion, but not wide enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. Motion from the offense. He wants to throw it again. Going to take a shot. Got it in stride inside the 20. Oh, he thought for sure he was going to be able to house that one, but a huge pickup all the way down to the 12. Well, I'll give this offense some credit because they've got a lot of fight. There is no quit in them, and they're obviously trailing by a big amount in this game. They haven't had a lot of success, but they're still taking shots, and their players are still out there competing. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That back had nowhere to go. The defensive line ate up the blocks. But how about the linebackers swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball here? Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. The give to the back. Pushes ahead for a pickup of one down to the 13. And the Jaguars in the hurry up. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. That pass not close as he got twill trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, it's been that kind of day here tonight. They just have not been able to find a rhythm and establish that throwing the football. Part of it has been wide receivers and quarterbacks not being on the same page, but you got to give this defense credit, too. Just like that last play, they have been getting after him. They've been hitting him, and that's a big reason why they've got such a big lead here in the fourth. Fires into the end zone, and he's got it. Touchdown, South Alabama! Touchdown, South Alabama. And 
it's not an accident. They're featuring this guy. His second receiving touchdown of the game. That's your job as a coach. Find my playmakers, get them the ball so they can do damage and have games like this right here. And they pick up the extra point kicker, knocked it right down the middle. So an 82-yard drive there. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. They are running out of time here. They need to get the ball back. They'll line up for the onside kick. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute it. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. The handoff keep working on that clock. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. This is a big third down. If they can move the chains, they can just about salt this game away. Single back formation, and they give it to him. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Yeah, that's a really good job by the defense, because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing both, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. From 55 yards out, and he's got it. Never a doubt. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. And he takes this from inside the five. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. Guys, we'll have another look at this South Alabama offense. It has been a rather forgettable day that's finally coming to a close, David. Yeah, it's been an awful day. I mean, just not, not functioning well on offense, defense giving up a lot of points. This is a day, Palmer, they'll like to forget. Yeah, you're going to find out a lot about their character right now. Obviously, not what they hoped this would be, and that's demoralizing for a lot of these kids that have worked really hard in practice all week. But at this point here, you're just trying to prove to your coaching staff that you're not going to quit. Lopez to pass. Throws to the wideout. And he's looking to the sideline. It's incomplete. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long. Under pressure. They're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course, they have an interception in this game. That's why they've got a big lead here in the fourth quarter. This guy has never gotten into a rhythm. Third and short. They've got them back up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. He makes a catch. How about that elusiveness? He's got space. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Well, this offense has a ton of work left ahead of him here in this two-minute situation late in the game, but the drive off to a good start. You get the first down, you get out of bounds, you're working the perimeter of the field. That is exactly what you want to do. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Trying to get rid of it. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. They've already got a bunch of sacks on them today and another quarterback pressure. This offense has to try to find a way to get the ball out a little bit quicker, to protect the quarterback a little bit more. Whether it's screens, whether it's draws, whether it's rolling your quarterback, 
something has to change for this offense to protect the quarterback. And the quarterback is snowed under. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? Complete out of the backfield, looking for the sticks. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. They thought they had a good plan, but it did not work. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. And they're just about out of chances. The defense can stop it one more time as the quarterback takes a knee. 